Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles. There we go. I thought it was Hero Turtles. No. Hey guys, welcome back to Faggot Brothers. Today is a special episode because we are in the kitchen at Tastemade Studios with Donald Skihan. Hello. Basically, today we're gonna make a tasty recipe that you can carry onto an airplane and basically have a lovely little meal at 30,000 feet. The reason we're doing this is because a lot of airlines are cutting costs by taking out your meals from the flights. And that is an important thing because that drives me crazy when they do that. I know, it's happening all the time, even on really long flights. So what are we gonna make today? So this is a super easy and slightly healthy uh, pasta salad. It is full of flavor and it's a very simple one to make. So we're gonna start off in a pan with some whole wheat pasta. So you need to cook up your pasta first. Now I'm using whole wheat pasta because it's a little bit healthier. Good, long, sustained energy, always good. This is going into a pot with some salted water and we're gonna cook this out just until it's al dente, but before it's finished cooking, we're gonna get in there with broccoli. Same bowl. Same pan cook it. The other ingredients we have are some feta cheese, we've got the broccoli, I've got some nuts which are toasting up here as well. Almonds, and then of course, right? almonds, yes, yes, some lovely nut almonds, but you could use any nuts you like in here. It's a pasta salad, so you kind of have a bit of freedom, you've got a lot to play with. And um, we also have some sun-dried tomatoes, which just are like they're like little flavor bombs. So maybe don't mention bombs though when you're never no, 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 no. no. Is this gonna eliminate the dreaded airplane fart? <laughs> I no. haven't had the dreaded airplane fart. Liar, liar! No, right. We are not doctors, but we would say we have read that carbohydrates like in pasta do help with jet lag because it helps you secrete insulin. Which secrete. Will secrete. You know, just don't secrete on the person next to <laughs> the next seat. But it will like start flowing some insulin flowing in the blood and that helps you with jet lag, supposedly. Secretions also, secretions, okay. secretions aside. Secretions what's aside. happening with the recipe? So with the pasta in. Alright, so secretions aside, our pasta is cooking up beautifully and at this point now when it's kind of just at the al dente stage, we're gonna go in there with our broccoli and you do need to make sure you've salted your water as well. This is only gonna need to blanch for about two to three minutes just until the broccoli is a little bit tender um, and then your pasta is cooked. This is looking really nice at this point. So I'm gonna transfer this out. We have a big, big bowl here nice. and we're just gonna spider this out. And what I'm gonna do is get you to start crumbling up that feta cheese mm -hmm. because this is my favorite job. You don't have to use feta, you could use a whole host of different things, but I just like the little bit of chunky sort of mm -hmm. saltiness. I would add, the good thing about this is that it's salty. When you're flying, um, in that cabin pressure, supposedly like you cannot taste so much sweet and saltiness. So add a little bit more spice, add some extra salt, and that will help the flavor. Ooh. So we have our pasta, we have our broccoli. Get in there with the feta cheese. Okay. We're also gonna go in there with some roasted toasted almonds. We've just put these in a skillet pan and we fried them off. You actually don't need any oil in here because the nuts are quite oily themselves. So we're getting that straight in there and you're starting to build a salad that just has lots of dimension to it. You've got the saltiness of the feta, you've got the crunch of the, the almonds, you've got that lovely texture with the pasta. It's, yeah. it's good things are happening. You Now you have a dirty hand. Yeah. He's um, got feta fingers. He's got feta fingers. He's got feta fingers. I love it. So I'm gonna get you to dress that with about three tablespoons and you can do this by eyeball. So we've got a nice uh, mixture going on here, but it's all about the extra flavor you add in here. So I have these sun-dried tomatoes, and these are my secret ingredients. We're gonna take these out of some oil, flip them straight out onto our chopping board, and give these a good chop up, so. Get that straight let's in there. Let's do that, let's do that. Nice. Oh, those guys go in there. Beautifully done. Okay, so we're gonna just do a last little seasoning in there. Your feta is quite salty, so you don't need to add too much extra salt. Hit it with some black pepper, a little bit of bite and a bit of spice. And then just for a kind of an acidity, and normally when you're making a salad dressing or a salad anyway, you're talking about three parts olive oil to one part an acidity, and we've got some cherry vinegar. So we're just gonna add a little splash, just a little splash here, and then it's all about the tossing, okay? So I'm gonna hand this over to you guys because you look like you're experts at tossing. You don't salads. want to toss oh! our salad. <laughs> you went there. No, I went there. <laughs> there we are. Mark obviously has lots of salad tossing skills. <laughs> Damn, Tons of experience. Is, is this gonna make the video? Oh yeah, Maybe. Maybe. fantastic. <laughs> This looks pretty good now. It does. I think we're ready to serve it. I think we're ready to serve it. Will we try some first? Oh, we yes. should. Yeah, for sure. Okay. This is Pork. the best part. It's actually formed this kind of nice sauce from the feta mm. cheese. And yeah, it's like slightly sauce. melted. Yeah. But first, you have the honors. Oh, thank you. Okay. Make yeah. sure you get some of that sun-dried tomato. Oh, yeah. Where's that? Where's that? Tomato. Is tomato. How do you say broccoli? Mm. Broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> the mouth of the Man, broccoli? I don't know. I, I knew That's there was the something. Thing. Full mouth speak the same language. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. There is no way you're not going to be impressed if you have that served on your airplane. Nothing. Mm -hmm. 
better than Gate Gourmet. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna now serve this into the Tupperware. It's the last little bit right here. And any other small like snacks you would bring with you on, you know, alongside something like this, what else would you have? You're gonna have these Nuts. guys left over for like an appetizer. You know, an apple is a good call. Mm -hmm. Definitely bring um, a water bottle. Okay. We use these big Nalgene's, um, which are kind of refillable, hard plastic water bottles. And you can empty it before you go through security and then fill it back up before you get on the plane. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Mm, there we are. Nice. Guys, we have all of the food in the Tupperware ready for the flight. Thank you so much for coming over and showing us this lovely recipe. In the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, see you guys on the road, and don't forget to check out the video over on Dumbass Channel. And subscribe to him as well. Hey guys! Peace! Who's Hero Turtles? No, no heroes. It's turtles in the hot Turtles in the hot shell. Turtle, turtle power. power! Now this is... Hup, hup, hup. Uh, overheating. Overheating. I hate that moment when you have a big All right, go for it. No, no, hold on. So we have a giant plane flying on it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't checked it out already, see the video. Ah! Cat. Oh, we're on a roll. Good time, though. Good time.